Hi everyone, and welcome to another unboxing video. So for today, I have Resident Evil 4, the collector's edition. Let's go ahead and get this cut open. See what's inside. Okay, put that down. Let's pull this out. So this bad boy has been sitting in my garage for about three months, and you know. What is it? it? Came out in March. It's now June. Uh, I finally decided to bring this thing into, you know, into the unboxing room. All right, a lot of glare from the bag here, but let's go ahead and look at the sides of the box. Let me take it out of this bag. Oh. Looks like it's got some tape here. All right, let's be careful with this. Okay, looks like I couldn't be careful enough to rip some of the box. Yeah, it looks like that's just gonna... You know what, I'm thinking I'll just go ahead and give it a cut so it doesn't, you know, Peel off more of the box itself. There we go. Okay, cool. I'd rather leave that sticker like that, just not to, you know, leave tears in the in the design of the box. careful on this one nope still doing the same thing not sure why they do this yeah i should have just cut it off but i mean it is what it is all right let's get this thing out of the bag let's turn it over Okay, cool. Resident Evil 4, Collector's Edition. Excuse the glare. Let's look at all sides of the box. Okay, contents of the Collector's Edition. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened. So like I said, I've really been sitting on this one for a long time. I've been planning on doing it and I've just been holding it off for a while. But you know, now I finally got some time to film this. Okay, so this was a slip on for the case. Go ahead and take another look at the packaging once the slip on case is off sides remain the same back is not you're all squeaking all right so i guess it looks like it's supposed to be designed like a suitcase i don't feel like taking another risk on these stickers so i think i'm just going to cut through them okay straight through nice same thing over here just cut through cool all right so let's go ahead 
and take a look inside. Careful here not to mess up any of the box. Or at least mess it up any more than I already have. Okay. Cool. Let's see what's inside. First thing we see is the game. Cool. Next thing is a steel book. Nice. You know, like in my last video, most of the time I buy collector's edition for the steel books. This one's pretty nice. Looks like it also comes with an in-game soundtrack. I believe there's probably a code behind this to download the soundtrack. And yes, there is. Next thing in this box is going to be, looks like maybe a map or some, something like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and look at this. For a poster. Too big for the screen but you know i'm trying to show off all of it so yeah looks like a map of the entire game all the locations in the game that is pretty cool um i have played the original resident evil 4 so you know some of the areas on this map from the game do look familiar. All right, let's continue on with what's inside. Okay, a divider. What is this? Let's open it up. Okay, so this is the Resident Evil 4 art book. A lot of stuff in here. You know, pretty typical for a standard edition. You know, usually they come with art books and, you know, extra downloadable content, uh, steel books. So, you know, so far pretty standard. Okay, let's remove this half. Okay, so now to the other reason why most people buy collector's editions would be the statues. Let's get this out of the box. Move this out of the way and throw this into frame cool so resident evil 4 leon s kennedy this is what the top looks like sides no no design on the sides back also bottom uh what is this just warning label uh, let's take a look at you know the actual collectible itself I'm trying to get this out without ripping or destroying the box okay it's coming out cool open okay now let's slide this thing out of here you know, I actually do have the other collector's editions. Uh, I have Resident Evil 2 and I also have Resident Evil 3. Both of the remake collector's editions. So, you know, I had to get this one to complete that set of the remakes. Okay, so here's the Leon statue. Interesting comes with you know, 
comes with a stand. I, I don't think you're gonna be able to see because all all the glare, but you know, there's a shotgun here. There's a pistol here. So, you know, I guess you could put these items in Leon's hands and you could put, or the shotgun you could put in Leon's hands and then you can put this uh, pistol here in his holster. So that is pretty cool. You know, it looks, honestly, you can't tell from here, but it looks pretty detailed, which is actually really nice. Honestly, for the most part with these collector's editions, with these items, with these statues, I honestly usually leave them wrapped up and just throw them back in the box and don't even display them. It sounds crazy. I don't know why I spend the money on these things if I'm just gonna do that, but you know, I guess it's just nice uh, kind of knowing you have it. So, you know, it does look nice, looks really good, details great. Uh, I believe I paid retail price for this back in March. Uh, I paid about $250 for it, not including tax. Uh, so far, whether it was worth it or not, I mean, for $250, this statue or this collectible is very detailed from the looks of it. I know you have a lot or you see a lot of glare um hopefully you know some of the details on this do come through you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and cut through this so you can actually see it in detail there's another piece of tape here as well down here up here Actually, I missed a piece of tape here. I'll just leave that one for right now. Okay, so let's pull this guy up and out just to show some of the detail on him. You know what? The statue feels pretty durable, pretty heavy. So that's actually pretty good. I guess, you know, the 250 price tag, if you're looking for, you know, a decent collectible, a decent uh, statue, I would definitely, you know, say it's worth it in that sense. The game alone is about 60 bucks. So, you know, you're pretty much a quarter of the way to the price. If you're into these uh, statues, then definitely it would be worth the price tag for something like this. So as you can see, these extra little pieces are meant to go with the statue. I'm sure I could fix this a little better. I just don't wanna, you know, force it into his hands, possibly break it, but this is the statue. Nice. So I just wanna say I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks everyone.